opposition leader Anwar Ibrahim. And earlier, her seats, her seats counting centre saw some uh, drama after voting closed at 5 p.m. Uh, Fifteen PKR counting agents were ordered to leave the centre, but they refused to do so. Well, we do apologize for that uh, lack of uh, audio there. We'll try and uh, fix it for you. Now, PKR says that its agents refuse to leave, insisting they have the right to observe all parts of the voting and counting process. Ms. Nuro Iza said she was visiting this particular station to investigate reports of phantom voters casting ballots there. The Election Commission has acknowledged it has received such reports elsewhere. SPR juga menerima aduan tentang terdapatnya and we have our guest in studio joining us, uh, Professor Bilga Singh and uh, Hussein Mutalib. Gentlemen, let's uh, begin with uh, the latest announcement that we hear about a hot seat, and that is in Penang. Uh, back in uh, 2008, it won in parts where it was a uh, Chinese majority, didn't do too well in the Malay areas. Do you think uh, you know, it would be the same this time around? After all, the results just said um, two-thirds uh, of the mm -hmm. State Assembly majority, they won. Pinning probably it's it's not so much a surprise because the you know the record speaks for itself. Mm -hmm. I think to be fair that you know when states in Peninsular Malaysia as well as East Malaysia look at development, look at producing goods, look at um, the kind of reserves that a government given the chance to rule managed to produce, uh, Penang is a shining light, and that that has to be acknowledged. More than that, I think um, um, Lim Kuan Eng, um, despite some accusations from. Pockets of minority Malays we've been hearing that you know have not been given uh, sufficient opportunities in Penang. But overall, this man is, is more than articulate. This man is uh, clearly a leader in his own right. Uh, have a vision for Malaysia, which is broadly acceptable to uh, a lot of multiracial groups uh, in Penang. So. I'm I'm not surprised at all that, you know, that, but particularly for DAP, it's still uncertain whether uh, other component members of uh, PR will do as well. But for DAP, it, 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 it is almost a kind of shoe in because they have done such um, good work. Um, in fact, there are other states which say that you know, if only we can govern like the ways um, Penang has delivered the goods to its voters and, and its own uh, uh, people. Yeah. I think the last time they got 29 out of 11, clear, uh, clear victory, two, clear to the uh, majority. And uh, it's interesting because in Penang, there are only seven seats where the percentage of demographic is 40% and both Chinese, which basically signals that uh, actually it's a very fascinating uh, demographic that even non-Chinese uh, are prepared to support parties like DAP and PKR. I, I think Penang is not a typical uh, Malaysian state. It's like Malacca, it was like Singapore, don't forget it's former street settlement. So very cosmopolitan, very urbanized. And uh, secondly, uh, Guan Eng uh, is no new boy on the kid. And, and similarly, uh, I think his track record speaks for himself. So I'm actually uh, totally uh, never believed that uh, it was a frontline state at all for the, yeah. for the opposition. It was a shoe in for the opposition. That was the only one in my calculation it was a shoe in. So I'm not surprised at all. Uh, Bilfer and Hussein, do you see a real effort by PAS in fielding non-Malay candidates, for example, to the state of Johor? Because mm. I believe uh, in Ai Hitam, the parliamentary seat, they have fielded uh, a first-time yes. Chinese Christian candidate. Mm. I mean, uh, I'm not surprised, but if you look at the overall architecture and statistics, it is still a tokenism to me. I mean, it will take some time. I mean, look at the present controversy between DAP and uh, pass about who do it and so on and so forth. So yes, uh, I think eventually, if you really want to be part and parcel of this new politics of Malaysia, you want to be part and parcel of the new dimension of a new Malaysia, you have to move away. The DAP have to move away from being an uh, uh, icon, a representative of the Chinese, just like past, have to move away somehow. I mean, otherwise, uh, it's loose-loose. So as I said, I'm not surprised, but I think it's going to take a lot of much more ranging from within, a lot more consensus building from within before you can move. The fact that they have done this, they did this the last time too uh, in the 08 election. I think they feel that an Indian uh, uh, candidate, uh, she didn't do well. So I think mm. it's moving, but uh, very slow move. What do you make of um, Salahuddin Ayub, uh, VP of PAS then? 
He, I mean, he left his uh, parliamentary seat in Kelantan mm. yes. uh, to contest to in the Nusa Jaya state seat yes. and under Grand Pata. Mm. Yeah. And also Pulai, isn't it? From Salahuddin? Um, is that correct? Mm -hmm. uh, from what I know, that he, he left his parliamentary Ayub. seat in Kelantan. No, Salahuddin Ayub. Ayub. Yes. 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 Um, I think you know, his entry into Katan to uh, penetrate um, 